Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You. Welcome to my kitchen. Wanted to let you know, I don't know what I'm making right now. Today is the day before payday, so that means tomorrow I go grocery shopping, so I'm just trying to clean out the fridge. Now, it may seem like that's all I do is clean out the fridge, but it kinda is all I do, is clean out the fridge and cook with what I bought because I don't like wasting anything. So, I thought we'd just get some ground chicken out, like this, and figure out what to do with it. I have some zucchini. I have, I always have carrots, so a couple carrots I might put in there. Got an onion. And then I have this mix of super greens. I'm just trying to have a normal meal. I cook normal food too, and uh, sometimes it's just normal food. So that's what you're gonna get today. Uh, it'll taste good. All right, put a little olive oil in my pan. And we'll get those going. I'm out of my um, main uh, garlic, jarred garlic that I make. Uh, I will be posting on my website uh, under my video shorts tab how I uh, make my own chopped garlic and keep in the fridge for weeks and weeks at last. And it is amazing. And then you're not dealing with cutting garlic all the time. We're going to let this simmer a little bit, put some salt in here, some pepper and just let those cook down a little. We're gonna put in our chicken and get that cooking. Chicken and onions are starting to cook, so I'm gonna add some poultry seasoning to this. And I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon and a half. And I don't have any fresh garlic right now, so I'm using some garlic powder. Putting some of that in there and a little more salt. And I'm going to mix this all up, get my chicken cooking and all those seasonings mixed into my chicken. I'm not sure if I should do a rice. Um, you know, I've got to think filler here. You know, this is probably what I'm making here. If I didn't have any rice, this would just be for one of my boys. Um, so I always have to think how can I fill them up? can't always give them pasta because, you know, it's pasta. And... All right, while that is cooking, we are going to get to cutting our zucchini and carrot, and that's it. So zucchini and carrots we're putting in next. Now, when I'm cutting my zucchini, I'm slicing it, but th those are kind of big pieces. And if you're dealing with people that don't always like to eat vegetables, you know, Eating a sliced zucchini is pretty big and kind of makes it a little harder to eat, or it's harder for them to want to eat it. Sometimes what I'll do is a rustic chop where I just kind of go like this. And Which would you rather eat? This little piece of zucchini or this big one? If you're dealing with someone that isn't a huge vegetable fan, this one. So, start chopping things up differently, and maybe you can get your picky eater to eat a little more. Okay, we have our zucchini, and that's, that was three, it's gonna be three zucchini. And then I'm not even peeling my carrots. I'm just gonna slice these, and then I'm also gonna do a rough little cut on these. So let's check our chicken how it's cooking. Chicken is done cooking, so I'm going to add my other vegetables in. And we're going to let these cook down until they're soft. I decided to put in two small stalks of celery for some added flavor. 
And then also, while I was waiting for my chicken to cook, I was just rummaging through my pantry trying to find something to use as filler. And I found some breadcrumbs, herb seasoned breadcrumbs. I decided that I'm going to, once this is cooked down, it's going to go in a 9 by 13 pan, and then I'm going to have um, a stuffing on the top and then bake it. So that's going to be our meal. Um, let me check my chicken to see flavor-wise. Okay, chicken has flavor, um, but I think I'm still going to add a, another teaspoon of poultry seasoning in. I want this to have a ton of flavor. And a little more garlic. This much. I'm following the package instructions on my um, stuffing. Let's see how we're looking here. Boy, we already have so many veggies in here. If it wasn't for the fact that I need to get rid of those greens, I'd say I'm good to go with this and don't need to put any more in, but I really need to get rid of some of those greens. So, Let's get to the greens. All right. And I buy these big containers of greens just because they're so economical to buy the large amount of organic. So I really don't feel too bad if I don't use it all because sometimes it's just too much. Um, but it's cheaper than buying the other kind. And I'm just going to do a slight rough chop. And I'm rough chopping just because I don't like big pieces, once they wilt down, they get long and dangly. So I like doing a little rough chop. Vegetables are really cooking down, but they're also going to be in the oven. So I'm okay that they're not 100% soft and, let me try carrot. They're getting there. Flavor-wise, I feel like, um, I'm missing some pizzazz, uh, so I'm going to add some more salt and then a little more poultry seasoning. Seems like a lot of poultry seasoning. I think I'm up to two and a half teaspoons, so I'm going to put another teaspoon in there. This is going to be quite the well, poultry seasoning is seasoning the sage and thyme. So we're going to have a lot of um, good flavors in here. Now I'm going to add my greens. And I still have quite a bit left. Our chicken and vegetables are done, so we're going to put them in our 9 by 13 pan. Again, taste your chicken and vegetables. You may want to add more salt, more pepper. You may want to experiment. And instead of putting um, the poultry seasoning, you may want to try something else. I'm just throwing this together, guys. So that's at the bottom. I mean, this alone looks good to me. Like, I really probably don't need this. Um, but like I told you, I'm looking for some filler. So one part I'm going to have just really light on the, the breadcrumbs, and that's going to be my side. I am also going to, for the big eaters, this side, I'm going to put some cheese on that. Because cheese does just always make everything better, right? And then we're going to put it in the oven 325, probably for 30 minutes, and it'll be good to go. All right, our casserole is done. Oh, it's very tasty. Into it as well. Yum. Of course, the side with the cheese always looks great, right? Um, but I'm gonna not eat the cheese part tonight, well, But it's not dinner time, so I'm just gonna take a little stitching off. Let's try. It doesn't always have to be some restaurant quality, high-end, uh, you know, better than anything frozen you'll get at the grocery store. Sodium. Anything better than what's in a can at your grocery store. Mmm. That's really good. 
was actually better than I thought it'd be. Thank you for watching and check out my other episodes on CathyCooksForYou.com.